Okay, so I have the Beagle Bone Black here. Just a board. I don't have the case here. Uh, it's a it's a single board computer similar to uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, and I just got a keyboard plugged in, power SD card. It's a uh, SanDisk 32 gigabyte SD card. I got it plugged into uh, USB power, so it's powered by a USB power supply, Ethernet. And it's running uh, a copy of uh, Debian Linux. Uh, it's booting, when I boot it up, it, it boots straight to the uh, SD card and it just skips the uh, internal EMMC uh, storage. So it's, boots, it's booting up off of a, a clean install of Debian with uh, the base install without the GUI, without X Windows, without pretty much anything. Just the absolute base of Debian Linux, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install um, a file server off of this. Uh, box here, and uh, so I, I, by default it, it um, has. Um, SSH installed, SSH uh, server installed. So you don't have to install it. So I'm just going to SSH into the uh, BeagleBone Black uh, through the Ethernet, which is already installed. The SSH is already installed, so that's a terminal to it. And all I'm going to do is just uh, it, to run a, a Samba server, to run a Samba file server, I'm just going to install apt-get. So, So it's just going to be apt get uh, uh, y for uh, yes, so that doesn't question you. Install Samba, uh, and the next one is Samba dash common dash bin, and I'm just going to let that run. And after a while, it, in, it installs it, and when it's done installing it, you um, just go into etc slash init.d Samba and start. Okay, which it's, it's already started. Okay, and uh, that, that's all you need to do to install it. And then you gotta configure etc Samba and uh, just edit the uh, Samba config. And um, And then you want to do a, after you've configured it, you you want to do a Samba uh, password and just add the user. Let's say uh, Bigo, and you put in the password twice. And it's added. And then you can restart it again. Although I'm not sure if it's necessary, but you could just restart it again. Samba. Restart. And it restarts it. And uh, I'm just going to show you the uh, Samba file. config file and uh, you can just configure it uh, the thing I recommend one of the things I recommend adding is uh, host space allow and then putting your uh, 
remote client's IP address. Otherwise, um, you can just scroll down. Another line I like to add is uh, Unix extensions, which you can say yes or no. Uh, if you choose no, it just emulates a uh, Windows file share. If you choose yet, um, if you choose yes, um, it just uh, uh, extends the Unix options like uh, symbolic links, uh, users, permissions. Okay, so it's yes or no. And then you just create your uh, share. Uh, you call it any name you like. So I just call it Bigger Bone, Bigger Bone Black Share, whatever you want to call it. And comments, it's just uh, free form. You could choose whatever you want to call it. And you could just copy the rest of them the way it is. Um, user, valid user, Bigger. And uh, that's it. And the path is uh, whatever you want to share it with. So if you got a path called uh, I don't know, UTC or uh, temp or test or whatever you want to share. So it's got to be a real folder on your system that you want to share. And that's the Samba file. And that's all you need. And for the client, So on the remote side, well, you, you, you might want to, so let's say we create a folder and I've created a folder called my stuff. And um, what you do is mount the remote share that I just, just created on the Beagle Bone Black. So here I have a, a Raspberry Pi as a client. And all you do is type in mount Option T and then CIFS is the uh, file system and O for options and username is which I just created on the Beagle Bone called Beagle password uh, just gibberish that is made up and then user ID is the local client user ID which here it's it's a Raspberry Pi and the user's Pi group ID is Pi and the remote IP and the share that we just created, which is Beaglebone Black Share, which we, which came from uh, the uh, etc slash samba slash uh, smb dot config, and all the way on, at the bottom of that file, there was a, a section that we created for the share, which which I named Beaglebone Black Share, and where it's going to mount, it's going to mount in the folder that I just created here called my stuff and then so if I go to my stuff I can see that I got my photos here okay so that's it and then of course you can just unmount it that's all you gotta do um, That's that. Um, a little bit about the uh, Beagle Bone Black. Okay, so on the uh, console of the Beagle Bone Black that I have here, that's it. That's all it's got. It's just, uh, I installed Debian on my uh, SD card. So it's coming out of the SD card. And all it gives you is just the base, the basic uh, login. That's it. That's, that's the only thing you can see. That is nothing you can see. Um, so, also the resolution is very low. It it, uh, it, it supports only um, seven twenty by um, not so much. It's, it's, Uh, 1200 um, lines by uh, 7 uh, 
20. Twelve eighty by seven twenty is the maximum resolution that it really supports. There's some people reported that it supports a resolution of up to uh, nineteen twenty by uh, ten eighty at twenty four hertz, but that never worked when I try editing that. All it gives me is um, a blank screen. So, and to change the resolution of that, it is, let me open that up again, boot, and U boot, and it's right here. Right here. Solution. Can you change the resolution? But it doesn't work anyway, so it only supports, uh, doesn't support very high resolution. Um, other miscellaneous information, uh, the uh, CPU is very warm to the touch. You can hardly feel any heat to touching it. one of them. got to be careful, only touch the uh, plastic Ethernet controller here. Call hardly any amount of heat. Memory, not much heat. Voltage regulators and any of them. It, it, it runs pretty cool. Hardly heats up anything. Hardly any heat. Um, reset button, power button, boot button. Hold out, hold out the boot and uh, plug it in, and it, it boots to the SD card. Uh, that's it.